So this is a rustic looking coffee table that I just made and underneath this glass is a miniature waterfall. And I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. Okay, so it's the next day. We stained it and painted the inside a flat black and we went to my parents house to get a bunch of rock and live moss and some little river rock. We went to the Grange and picked up some house plants uh, and then we let this dry overnight. So it's the next day. I have this real real thin pond liner that I'm going to as neatly as I can fit into this box and staple it up in these corners where I have these gaps to keep it out of the way so that when that tabletop goes on it'll keep it pressed down and you won't be able to see it very well. After that we can start working on the water feature. My wife just brought this out to me. Look at that. This is caramel mocha. Okay, so I've been experimenting with the waterfall section just by throwing sand and rock down there and seeing what it looks like and it's pretty level and I like it, but there's too much water going underneath that rock. So I've mixed together like four cups of just concrete mix and I'm gonna glob it in here and let it dry and we'll be back later.
Okay, so that wraps up the waterfall coffee table. Um, I'm really stoked on how this turned out and I had a blast making it. The woodworking, I don't have a lot of tools for or experience, so that was a challenge for me. But once I got to making the inside, that was just a lot of fun. So we ended up putting a light on the inside because we realized once it was indoors with the glass on it, the room lights were glaring off the glass. But with this light in there shining on the waterfall, you can see it more clearly. Uh, my wife thinks we can maybe put goldfish in it, so we might try that. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this project, and I've got more water feature ideas, so uh, subscribe and follow along, and we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> because we simply cheated ourselves the whole way down the line.